We have talked about the budget crisis extensively, how it's affected our state and the teachers who are fighting for a pay raise. But today we're turning the spotlight towards state employees who are asking for the exact same thing. If voted into law, Senate Bill 2637 would provide just that. And here with us this morning is Sterling Zerley. He is the executive director of the Oklahoma Public Employees Association. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you for allowing us to be here today. Thank you for your time. Uh, we really do appreciate it. First, off the top, take us through this bill and what exactly Exactly is on the table. Uh, House Bill 2637 is by House Representative Bill. Yeah, yes, okay. Re uh, by Representative Dustin Roberts uh, from the Duran area. Uh, what it does is a $2,500 pay raise starting in 2018, then another one in 2019, then another one in 2020. So $2,500 mm -hmm. every year That's over the, next the course th three years. And who would get that? There would be all it'd be all state employees who are currently employed. We have about 33,000, a little over 33,000 state employees currently. What would be the average salary? of a state employee? The average salary is approximately $35,000 a year. Okay, and another question I had as I was trying to see who would benefit from this if this became law, are teachers considered state employees? No, they're a separate, uh, they're considered an education component, so that I know the teachers have a pay raise uh, bill also out there. Why would they not be considered state employees? Well, I know, you know, public school funding comes from a mix of federal, state funding, mm -hmm. local funding. But why would they not be included in that? It's a separate title uh, in, in legislation that they have to do that for teachers. So it's always been a separate issue. You have a state employee pay raises and then you have teacher pay raises. Okay, so these are separate. We had a lot of people chiming in say it, they would be included, they wouldn't be included. So thank you for clearing that yes, up. You crunch the numbers. Mm -hmm. This, if it were law, would cost the state $246 million to implement Correct. to make this happen. Uh, it, it's about 82, 000, 82 million per $2,500 increment. Uh, and, and you know, if you do the math, a lot of people say well, that's not correct. But the state gets a lot of federal matching money for these uh, pay raises. And also we have a, a non-appropriate agencies like the Banking Commission that would, uh, would be made to give pay raises, but it'd be out of their own monies because th those monies are not appropriated to those, some of those agencies. So but at the end of three years, right? Wouldn't yes. it be two, about 246? Yes, ma'am, uh, be about $246 million, appropriated dollars from the state. Okay, and how those numbers don't make sense. You know, when you're talking about a budget crisis, $215 million in the hole, and this is more than that. Where, do, where are we supposed to find that money? Let me give you some examples. Back in 2014, we, when you look at compensation for state employees, we look at the benefits and salary, and we compare them to the private sector. In 2014, we were 15.5% below market compensation. Today, we're 24%. So we, over a three-year period, we're 8% decrease in compensation for state employees. The turnover cost for the state is about $130 million a year. So some of that money would come from those savings from the turnover cost. And uh, taking it back a couple years, back to 2016, I was looking into this, hundreds of state employees received pay increases of $5,000 or, $5, or more in 2016. You had about 554 positions. ODOT, Wildlife Conservation Department, a number of tax commission auditors got $9,000 increases. Mm -hmm. I know that's not everybody, you know, that 554, right. but why not give somebody else a chance? Because we can't all, you know, fight for pay raises and, and get what we want. Correct. Now, now also, let me, let me give you the, the tax Tax Commission people who go out and make sure we get the taxes that's due to the state of Oklahoma, some of those folks are still 35 to 40 percent below market even after that raise. So you have to look at, you have to look, compare it to the private sector. And what's interesting is uh, some of those, Marky, were actually promotions. So you've got to look, you know, some employees were given additional duties, so we don't consider that a raise because they were promoted and given additional duties. But where would that money be coming from? It would be coming from the agencies. Which are funded by the state. Correct. Some of, them, some of them are and some of them are not. The Wildlife Commission, they're a non-appropriated agency, so that's what I was talking about earlier about appropriated versus non-appropriated agencies. And I know you've heard this argument, you know, a lot of teachers chiming in and saying, we have not gotten a pay raise either. Um, you know, like I just said, we can't all fight for a raise, you know, all have legislation and get what we want. So give me your pitch as to why it's time for state employees and not teachers. Well, no, no, I, I think teachers deserve a raise. So I, everybody I, I, I agree. needs a raise. Yes. But let me, I think a lot of people don't understand. Uh, let me just give you a scenario. A lot of the kids who come into the school systems have to use some sort of state service. If they're not protected, DHS is a good example. If those kids are in an abusive environment or they're not being fed properly or they have mental health issues, 
it doesn't matter if, if those needs are not taken care of before they go into the school system, it makes it more difficult for the uh, educators to educate those children. Plus, we do licensing for child care. They do, you know, roads and bridges. You have DOC employees who uh, or keeps people incarcerated so we're safe. So, I mean, it, we, a state employee touches every citizen's life at least once a day. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. Right. And nobody is arguing that. I think, yeah. you know, we're in a place where everybody is needing more money and everybody's right. trying to fight for, you know, the people who deserve it to get more money. But um, interesting to hear your perspective for state employees.